Hey y'all, I have something I want to tell you. It is going to rock your world. You are going to be a better artist because you listen to this video. Let's get started. All right, what was I hyping up there? Only the very, very best thing that you can do starting right now, today, to improve your artwork. I'm Stephanie. I'm from Deliberately Creative. That's what the channel is that you're on right now. If you're interested, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends because you're going to want to share this secret with everybody. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the thing that sort of changed my life as far as being an artist, learning how to draw. Now, I've been drawing for yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I've been drawing for over 40 years. <laughs> but what can I say? I've been drawing for 40 years, but it's only been in the last few years that I've really been feeling comfortable with how I draw and what I can do with a pencil or a pen or even a paintbrush. So if you want to be better painting, you need to be able to do this one thing. If you want to be able to draw, you got to be able to do this one thing. What's the one thing? Okay, I'm going to tell you the one thing that you have to be able to do to draw better and that you can start doing it today is you have to be able to see the shapes of things. And you're going, yeah, okay, yeah. You got to be able to see the shapes of things. What, you want me to sit here and draw spheres and and cones and cubes and no. I don't want you to draw any of those things. What you really need to know to draw better is to learn how to see the shapes of things. That means find those triangles, find the squares, find the rectangles, find the circles. When you can find those things, you can draw them because you can draw a square, a circle, a rectangle, a triangle. You've been doing those things since you were a tiny little tot. Things. I'm going to present an idea. And this idea is so, so easy. What you do is you find a photo, put it in some program that you like. I happen to like Procreate on my iPad, but you could use Photoshop or you could use GIMP or you could use anything that gives you the ability to put a layer over the top of it, or you can print your picture out on paper and put another piece of paper on top of it and trace. Tracing helps you to break things down into their basic shapes. People don't tell you, you know, learn to see things in simple shapes. So when I go and I do a drawing demo for people and I or a painting demo or a painting lesson. And I sit there and go beep, beep, boop, boop. Oh, there's a bird. And people are like, I see how you did that. I see how you found the egg shape of the body and the circle shape on his head. So by being able to break things down into simple shapes. Now I'm going to show you how with a very simple drawing that public domain photos. So here's the chickadee. All right. I'm looking at this and going, this is the shape that I see. It's basically an egg shape. This is the shape that I see, basically a circle. This is the shape that I see, a triangle. And this is the shape that I see on the back. And that is another triangle. I, I will put his little claws in just so you can see how you would draw. But I'm not drawing a whole bunch of stuff. I am putting just stick lines. Now we're going to go and look at that. Without. So look at that. We have a bird. Now, 
so now we're going to go in and I I'm looking at this going I see just basically a line here and a little half circle now it's a little confusing to see all of those all those lines like that so I'm gonna go like this and I can erase out some of those lines now this one back here I'm just gonna take that little line out because I see a shape like that this is just it's a wing shape actually I mean that's what it is and then there's another wing shape and we're not going to worry about making any of those other shapes putting just a little line across for his tail space now we're gonna oh I will erase out that little bit in his beak and we will draw his eye And yeah, I did. I drew it all in red. But there we go. Now we've got a cute little bird that we can develop and grow into more little birds because we're learning the basic shape. And that's all you need. I hope you found this to be educational, informational, and permission to give yourself the chance to learn how things are put together. Because when you learn how they're put together, it makes it easier for you to build that visual vocabulary and be able to draw things later. If somebody says, hey, I need a bird. Can you draw me a bird really quick? And you can go, oh, yes, I have a bird up here. I can draw the egg, the circle on top, the little half circle for his wing. And look at that. I've got a bird. I want you to just practice. Just practice five to ten minutes a day tracing things that you want to learn how to draw. Break them down into those simple shapes. And then you're going to be drawing better than you ever thought you could. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share, and go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. I want to see you back here again really soon because I'll have another fun tip or trick drawing lesson really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>